Tonight, a local organization is making a big difference in the lives of some of our wounded warriors. Freedom Station offers transitional housing in Golden Hill to our troops after their service. CBS News 8's Abby Alford spent part of her Veterans Day there. Here at Freedom Station, these are homes for wounded warriors to help them transition from military to civilian life. These aren't your barracks. There's the white picket fences, even a barbecue on Veterans Day. Try walking in a wounded warrior's prosthetic leg. Trust it. Trust the leg. As tough as it looks, it is. But these wounded warriors have a tougher challenge, transitioning from military to civilian life when they get out of the hospital. Injured, not knowing exactly what you're going to do or where you're going to go. You know, you just want to go to school. But now they're going to school, living in a home, paying their own rent and bills. You have your own personal space. But yet, you're still in a community of veterans. That community started with Freedom Station, a nonprofit organization turning these 11 cottages and bungalows into homes for wounded warriors. I don't know if you can put into words what it is. Uh, it's a heart. It's a beginning and it's an end. The program began in 2010, providing a white picket fence lining an 800 square foot home with a living room, dining room, kitchen and bedroom that also has a gym and a garage. Retired Marine Scout Sniper Sergeant Povis McNitus has lived here from the start. Maybe it's a week, maybe it's a couple months or maybe even longer, but they'll, you can see that everybody takes their own time and they can kind of work into transitioning into your own home. Neighbors are Marines at the moment. Some are amputees. We all can obviously relate to each other with something, you know, significant that's happened in the past or something that's happening now. Assisted by volunteers like Judy Sexton. They're a gift to this country. But these humbled, wounded warriors say the gift comes from the Freedom Station volunteers. Hey, people willing to give up their time, it reminds us that we have to give back as well. The warriors can stay here at Freedom Station for as long as they want, but many have moved on, either getting jobs, married, or going to school, and all of them have success stories. Back to you. To learn more about the Warrior Foundation and how you can help, go to our website, cbs8.com, and click the hot button.